day, everybody. <laughs> okay. There's a story behind that. So I always say good morning, no matter where I am, no matter what time it is, I say good morning to everybody. And um, Scott at WSCS said, you know, people watch this in the afternoon, in the evening, try to, you know, say something else. But it's such a habit in me to say good morning that now every time good comes out of my mouth to say good morning to you guys, uh, I like stop myself mid statement to try to correct it. So that's my ridiculous intro for today. Don't worry, next Monday, I'll have another ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous intro for you guys. Okay, so we are going to get started with the show. <clears throat> I want to say hey to Heather. Hey, Patrick. How are you? Good afternoon, Patrick. <laughs> I love when people get my get my sense of quirkiness because it's real. <laughs> oh Lord. Okay. Um yes, okay, just a few little announcements we are going to make our um in a moment, I'll be taking callers and just um, let me know what, you, what is your name and where are you calling from? And then one question or one connection to somebody on the other side. And second, um, this show does air on many uh, streaming channels, TV stations, radio stations, and almost every podcast. So if you are watching or listening, thank you very much. If you'd like to join us live, that is every Monday and Wednesday at noon central time that we go live. Uh, I know there are, uh, hey Stevie, how are you bud? Um, I know there are other things I'm supposed to be saying, um, but I just really can't remember them. If you'd like to call in, with a question, a comment, or to connect with somebody, 845-277-9131. Um, and I will never reach out to you, so please don't get scammed by somebody reaching out to you um, on social media or in the comment sections, okay? Okay, we are going to get started right away. Uh, hey, Mo, how are you? I'm going to go to caller 415. 415, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, Tony, this is Kate in New Mexico. Hey, Kate, how's it going? Good. I have a story you're going to love. Okay. So last night I listened to a different blog talk show in the, like around dinner time and he gives um, a song message to people. And so he said, the song that came up for you is Respect <laughs> by Aretha, Aretha Franklin. <laughs> That's hilarious. And then, isn't that wild? And then... I um, hadn't heard your show yet. And so then after that, I went on YouTube and watched Monday's show. And the first thing you said was, a song for somebody is R-E-S-B-C-T. That's hilarious. Oh, my goodness. That's so funny. That's hilarious. Two so, days in a row. Yes, now, from two people. Now you know. That's your song. That is your song for sure, right? Isn't that wild? And he said, um, he's a real music nerd, and he said, it was, you know, it's the history of every song, and it was an Otis Redding song, and she took it and made it her own, and the message is about making something your your own. Oh, I love Isn't that. Isn't that wild? I, lo I absolutely love that. I do. I do. I love that. So, Kate, did you have a question or a connection today? Oh, yeah, I guess, um, I guess it's that song from a connection. Is that like a, from a guide sent me that or is that a family member? 
Has family. it been any additional to what, from what I got from that? It's from a family member. It's from a woman. I feel like it's from either your mom or your grandmom, whoever was the thinner of the two of them. Um, that is who sent you that. And the the what they want you to walk away from with that is um, I'm hearing the statement. It's a two-way street. Um, like respect is a two-way street. And I'm sure you're always respectful. But um, that also yeah. to make sure that... Um, Okay, so something really interesting is coming through for that song and that statement is that respect isn't, well, it isn't demanded and it isn't owed, but that's not, but make sure like respect is not like a form of control also. Like if somebody does something, um, I know what I'm going to try to say here. I don't know if I'm going to get it quite on the mark, but if somebody is, Doing something you don't like, you can't just throw out, that's disrespectful because we don't love it It, it uh, or because we just don't want to hear them correct us um, because respect and control are two different things. I know what I'm trying to say. I don't think I'm hitting it on the mark, but I think you'll understand it when the time comes. Okay, love? Okay, thank you. You are so welcome. And I hope that was helpful, even though it was a bit vague. So what I think what I'm trying to say about that is that sometimes people will say, well, could you like, I, this is an actual example from an actual incident that happened where somebody said, well, could you do this for me? And the person said in a minute, and they're like, they're not, you're not respecting me. Well, that's, that's not a lack of respect. That's like just not doing it exactly when you wanted it. But I'm Kate, I'm sure that that's not you, but that's just an example of the, the difference between control and respect, which everybody probably knows and I did not need to give the example of. Hey, uh, Jul uh, Julio. Hey, Julio. How are you? And Fawn. Um, I hope everybody is doing good. I almost called you Julio, Julio, but no, that would have been very, very wrong. Okay, again, if you would like to call in and ask a question or on the show or connect with a loved one on the other side, the number is 845-277-9131. I'm going to go directly to the next caller, and that is 305-305. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Eileen, and I'm in Florida. Excellent. How can I help you today? So um, I had applied to an art festival, and I'm second on the wait list, and the deadline has already passed, but I'm on the wait list. Do you see me getting in? Ooh. You know, they're, they're going to accept me. Like, two people are going to bow out, and then they'll call me and tell me to, I could get in. Can I please ask? I, I know what I'm hearing. Uh, what are you hearing? Um, when is the art festival? February, President's Weekend, three okay. days. There is, it's a very slim chance you're going to get in. I mean, there's this slim chance, but it's a very slim chance. Um, I think here's um, here's yeah. what I'm going to say. I think keep your thoughts very positive about it. But I keep hearing um I don't even know. If if I say this on the air, people will think it's whatever, but it is what it is. If somebody gets sick, you'll get in. Um but we don't want to Correct. <laughs> we don't want to wish for anybody else to get sick, right? Um but I feel like it's a, there is a chance, but it's an, ex, an extremely slim chance. Okay, sweetie, just keep well, your... Well, I took, I took precautions and I entered another show at the same time and I've already accepted that one. 
Okay, so then... I've already paid for my booth. So I was just wondering if the other one's going to come in and say, you know, if you felt that or saw that. I don't think, anyway. honestly, I don't yeah. think they're, as everything sits right now, I don't think they're going to, I do, for whatever re, okay, here's what I'm going to say. For whatever reason, I don't think you're going to end up at the first one you asked about, whether it's because you already committed to another one or because nobody backs out of the first one. Um, I just feel like it, it's it's slim to no chance that you're going to be at the first one. And I don't think, I don't even know that they, they're they going to, they might reach out, but I don't think they're going to. But it, in any case, I think that that's what it's going to be. Um, yeah, so... I don't, okay, I don't. good because I followed my intuition. Good, and I Excellent. said, "I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna um, wait on anybody. I'm gonna go forward." And I did, and I got into the other show. Excellent. Well, it's always important to do that, right? Excellent. Yes, absolutely, without a doubt. Yeah, if one door closes, you got to find the, the one that's open. Exactly. And maybe the one, you know, sometimes we don't get the exact one we go for first because the other one is going to be a much better fit for us, perhaps. Bring us a lot more productivity, if you will. Um, I don't know if that's the right word, yeah. but that's what I'm getting. So that's what well, I'm using. Well, uh, it's more, it's more um, international, but they're the same town in the same day. Oh, nice. That'll be very nice. Very, very nice. Well, yeah. good, good for you. Yeah. And I wish you luck on in the in the show, if that's how I say it. I wish you luck. Okay. That's luck. it. Yeah. It would be nice to win an award too. Oh, that would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go directly to the next caller who is 914. Um, 914, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Catherine. I'm calling from New York. How are you today? I'm good. How can I help you today? I was wondering if I may get a message, please, from the other side. Is there someone specifically you'd like a message from? Um, I'd love to speak with my grandmother. Okay. And um, just her first You're, name, please. Oh, I'm sorry? Her first name? Um, Antonina. Okay. Antonia. Okay. Do you also have a relative on the other side? And I don't I don't know, um, named Irene or Eileen that you know of? It could be for somebody else, but I keep hearing okay. that. Okay. Yeah, not that I know of. Okay, it could be for somebody else listening. I'm going to do, do um, your grandmother first. Give me one quick second here. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, so the first thing that she would want to say to you is um, there's a song that's coming through, and it's a, a it's, it's probably, it might not have been been a song that she would have listened to maybe it is i don't know but live and let live and let is it live and let die live and let die, die. <laughs> do no 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 okay so that's the first thing that's coming through the next thing that's coming through wow. is there is a um opportunity coming into you and the reason she's giving you this particular song is because there's an opportunity coming into you and with this opportunity you're going to have to make a choice that is going to take you um oh gosh i i can't believe the words coming out of my mouth this morning um it's going to take you further down the rabbit hole and you should know what that means or it's going to bring you back to the surface and again do no 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 for whatever that live and let die is coming through again and um and she is saying that there is this choice, choose 
uh, and she's giving me two words, correctly or prominently, or pr pr like correctly, quickly, prominently, because it's, it, now you see it, now you don't. I'm getting the whole Alice in Wonderland vibe off of this. And like, now you see it, now you don't. And I don't think it's it has anything to do with Alice in Wonderland. I think it's more um, in alignment with you're going down like you've been looking at something or learning about something or researching something or something. And you're going to have the opportunity to go deeper with it. Now, whether this is work, love, or a subject, you are about to... Um, uh, and then I hear the word crescendo, cr crescendo or crescenda. And I hear yeah. that this is going to... This is the craziest message I think I may have ever given. So I hope you understand it. But there's like this big orchestra playing. And when I hear crescendo, they show me this big orchestra and then fireworks in the background. So whatever is coming in for you, <clears throat> you can either go further down the rabbit hole or you can come back to the surface or reality. I don't know what that means for you in your life or how that's okay. going to play out, but this is the message she's giving you. Either choice that you make is going to be the choice that's right for you. And then again, I hear live and let die. And then that, da -na -na, na -na -na. and uh, meaning, um, Whatever choice you make, either something's going to go on or it's going to be stopped. I, I I can't even. I just can't even. I hope you understand this message. If you don't now, when the time comes and it is in front of you, you're going to maybe hear that song or 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 something. You're going to have a knowing that this is the choice that you're grandmother was talking about and again you you literally you can't go wrong either you're going to continue with something or you're going to stop it um and whatever choice you make is going to be the right choice for you in that moment but I feel like <clears throat> you might not have a lot of time to make this choice it's almost like i'm going to give you two different examples it's almost like if somebody proposes to you you really can't take a moment and go can can i think about this you you don't have the time to think about it you have to like say yes or walk away or if you're offered a promotion at work like you can't really tell your boss i need time to think about this you either have to say yeah this is right for me or no, it's not right for me. It's something along those lines where you are you might have to make a decision on the spot. Like, like you might have right to on. decide on the spot. And if you, whatever it is, um, because if you don't decide on the spot, um, I don't know what will happen, but like it, like they're saying, it's either further down the rabbit hole, further into the story, or back to the surface and out of the story is the what I'm getting for that. I hope I hope that makes sense for you. And, and if it doesn't make sense now, I hope it makes sense when the time comes. And I hear. I'll let you know. Yeah. yeah. I hear November, but we're almost at the end of November. So I don't, I don't know. I don't, we'll yeah. see, right? But, and it might be um, November into December, but we'll see as the time comes. Okay, love? Yeah, thank you so much. That's so interesting. Thank you. You are so welcome. I'll keep my eyes open. Yeah, and please call us back and let us know because it is very, um, Yeah, it's very interesting. It's very interesting. I want to know. I'm yeah. sure other people do too, okay? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank well, you so much. Thank you thank so you. much. I really appreciate it.
Oh, absolutely. My pleasure. And thank you so much for um, calling in. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you so much. Uh, God bless you too. And thank you. And you know, I want to thank everybody who has called in today. Um, sometimes I hit the mute button. I, I think like um, a little early um, and I don't know, like m maybe people are still talking or something, but sometimes I hit the mute button a little early and I don't mean to do that, but sometimes um, I do and I apologize for that. Um, 845, 845, what's your name? Hello. Hi, where are you calling from? What's your Hi. name? Yes, my name is Maria. I call it from America. Okay, first and foremost, I'm I'm going to apologize for this in advance. I'm gonna need you to talk a little bit slower. Um, just because I wanna make sure I I, un I understand everything that you're saying. So I, I I'm sorry, where are you I calling? Can't. Where are you calling? <laughs> I call it from New York. Okay. <laughs> and I'm sorry, how can I help you today? I can message you from my hospital. Hello, the site. I'm I'm sorry, what Hello? yeah, I I'm I'm sorry, I'm really I'm not understanding what you're saying. So if you could just please say it hopefully one more time and I'll get it. Listen, I think I'm sorry. My is dead. I want my side from my husband. It's on the other side. Okay, somebody from the other side. I think you're saying your husband from the other side. You want a message from your husband right. from the other side? Right. right. Okay. Yes. Phew. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus. Okay. Thanks. Um. I'm going to just give me one second. There is a gentleman here and he is stepping in and he has a big smile on his face and he is um, okay. Just give me one second here. Um, Cause all he's do is staring. He's not talking yet. He's just, so this could tell me one of two things. Either he didn't talk a lot while he was here or he um, is just trying to um, trying to find the words or find the whatever. But right now he's just looking. He's just standing there and he's just looking. He's standing right there. And I need you to say anything, sir. Just anything in English, please. Say anything in English. Um okay. The first thing he is saying is that uh, he is sorry. He, he is sorry. He, okay, this is going to take me a moment, but just please bear with me and let him finish his message before you comment on it. That's the first thing I'm getting. Don't inter, like he is saying, don't interrupt the message because he's going to say a couple of things. And then he just wants to be able to say them all. So the first thing that he is saying, he's sorry that that he feels like or he left with a mess. He left with a mess behind or he left a mess behind. He feels like he should have. Um, it was unexpected, like unexpected or um, he didn't prepare properly for his um, de departure, like he didn't, like he didn't prepare properly for, like he wasn't ready or things weren't ready for him to go. Like he should have done certain things before he left because he feels like he left a bit of a mess behind. Things were not in order. Uh, he wants to use the word organized, but I'm going to say in order. Um, and it was kind of a lot of things up in the, like up in the air, up in the air, up in the air. He also wants to say that you, as difficult, 
as his passing was, it was such a hardship. His passing was such a hardship. And as difficult as it was, you, you, um, you were very strong, even though you didn't know how I'm going to, oh, don't make me cry on air. Um, you didn't know how you were going to get through it, but you never, you didn't really, um, but you were very strong and a lot of people didn't know how much it affected you, if I'm understanding this correctly. And I hope I am understanding it correctly. I apologize if I'm not understanding his message correctly. I'm doing the the best I can. And he also wants to say that he wishes he would have put more things in order. He would have put more things in order. He left you. The best way he's saying it is like he left you with things out of order. He left you with things out of order and unexpected, unexpected, unexpected. Um. He does want you to know that he um, he loves he loves you and loved you and and that is something that he the way he communicated with you he just I want to I'm I might not say this pr properly but please um, the way he Okay, if I'm understanding this correctly, these aren't his exact words. This is my like translation or understanding of it. He wishes he just would have loved you or said he loved you more. He would have shown you love more like more in some way. In some in some way he wish he would have get, shown you or given you more love, but he's he really is emphasizing unexpected and out of order. Things were not in order or they were un, out of order and it was unexpected. And I, I'm sorry that that's the best message that I can bring to you. I hope that that message makes sense for you. I hope that it helps you. And I'm, I'm, I hope, does this message make sense for you, love? Yes. Oh, thank God. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Thank God. Oh, thank you, sweet baby Jesus. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Um, thank you. Because I was really struggling to try to get the words right or get them in the right order because he's not. The translation isn't the best is what I'm going to say. But he wants you to know that there is so much love for you. I'm going to say thank you, everybody. I'll be back Monday at noon for another 60 minutes. Until then, have an absolutely amazing rest of the week and weekend.